All right, welcome back to another video. Let's do this in one take, hopefully. Um, so the rumored runtime for Deadpool and Wolverine is about two hours and ten minutes, according to this account on Twitter. And this is just my opinion on the runtime. I don't think it's going to be enough. And I think this is where the movie might be rushed and something that's like meant to be enjoyable but not like properly written because the synopsis is like very heavy. Uh, if you go on IMDb, it's kind of different, but like on the Wikipedia premise, it says, let me read it up on here. Um, <coughs> on the Wikipedia premise, it says, the time variant authority, a bureaucratic organization that exists outside of time and space, monitors the timeline, pulls Wade Wilson from his quiet life and sets him on a mission that will change the history of the Marvel Cinematic Universe alongside Wolverine. And that's just, like, a very heavy task for a movie. So it's either, you know, that's not really going to happen, or it is. But I don't think two hours and ten minutes is enough for that to happen. Um, we saw, like, in Thor Love and Thunder, that had one hour and 59 minutes, right? So two hours. And that was not nearly enough. <clears throat> and I think looking back, looking through, like, what happens in the movie, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't take away anything in the movie of course, you know, the comedy, the, the excessive comedy, yes. But as far as like, the plot goes, I wouldn't take anything away. We just needed more. We needed more of Gore to build him up as a villain um, and to tone down the comedy and stuff like that. So we needed more time. <clears throat> Exhibit B, Doctor Strange and a Multiverse of Madness. I'm pretty sure, you know, that that's like a more widely loved movie in comparison to Thor, Love and Thunder. But I think that also suffered from like being rushed a little bit. And... We also need more in that movie as well, especially to like create a bridge between the last appearance of Wanda, Scarlet Witch from WandaVision, and then her becoming an actual villain in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. So we needed more more time, more more scenes in that movie as well. And that one was like two hours and um, <clears throat> let me see, that was at two hours and six minutes. <laughs> So, Deadpool and Wolverine is 2 hours and 10 minutes. I feel like it's going to be riddled, like, you know, filled with cameos, which I'm not too angry about. But as far as the plot goes, I don't know if anything substantial is going to ha actually happen. And this might harm the movie from a writing perspective. Otherwise, it's going to be, like, enjoyable and, you know, just have fun with it. But I don't think that's what Marvel needs right now, per se. So, yeah, that's just my opinion. Um... Let me know down in the comments what you guys thought. But yeah, peace.